Weekly Outdoor Plus is a new and exciting outdoor show presented by Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point. Starring new owner Gary Hintz. His youngest son, the show pro, Jace Hintz. And the show producer, creator, and host, his oldest son, Seth Hintz. So now sit back and relax and get ready to learn about archery and the world of the outdoors. Today it's uh, at middle of July and I'm going on a Carbon Express crossbow antelope hunt in Wyoming. They're taking me. Um, what I have here is a Carbon Express intercept crossbow and I'm sighting it in. 20, 30, 40, 50, which is going pretty good. And I have one arrow with a broadhead on it. And before I leave, I'm gonna shoot this broadhead a few times into the sand bunkers, just to make sure it's really important to practice with your broadhead. No matter what broadhead you have, what bow you have, always shoot your broadhead before you hunt because they don't fly like they're supposed to a lot of times. It's very important to know if it hits the same as your field point or not. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, just sight in. I pretty much got her sighted. I'm just going to shoot 20, 30, 40, and 50, and then I'm going to shoot the broadhead a little bit, and we'll see how it goes. high because I'm good at 30 and 40 and that's probably the most common shots taken at antelope would be more like a 30 or a 40 than a 20 hopefully a 20 but. whether you're hunting with a crossbow or a regular bow a vertical bow the best shot is as close as possible Archery is all about getting close to the animal. It ain't about making a long shot, it's about getting close to the animal and making a good, clean, close shot. Okay, 30. Try 40 and 50, see where I line up. Then the broadhead. I got Carbon Express arrows, crossbow bolts, I got Carbon Express broadheads. 20, 30, 40. Shot my two arrows at 40. They're both touching each other about two inches low, so that's acceptable. I know this scope and the lines in the scope, I'm not sure if they really match the speed of the arrow. So I'm just gonna find out where I'm at at each line and go from there. Okay, I'm going 50. That shot looked pretty good, so what I'm gonna do is shoot the broadhead now. It's really hot out here today. 
probably in the low 80s and humid right now. And I'm sure in August in Wyoming it's going to be hot. I have to take a Yeti cooler with me. Okay, I'm going to do this broadhead at start at 30 with it. Out of a clump of grass and I hit it. I gotta go get him. Okay, my 30 yard broadhead shot was right on. I'm gonna do a 40 yard broadhead and I should be good. I'll be all set for my Carbon Express antelope, Carbon Express crossbow antelope hunt. gonna stop here either I'm gonna come back and shoot some more before I go for sure it's important to just keep up and keep your stuff tuned and stay familiar with your weapon all right 40 yard broadhead Fly right next to the leva shooting at, so we'll go see where it's at. I think I'm done with this. I'm put my scope co covers back on. Like I say, don't forget how important it is to shoot broadheads before you hunt. I've seen them shoot really bad compared to your field tips. I've seen guys shoot stuff they didn't want to shoot, shooting their broadheads. They're shooting curveballs. Anyway, this one I know shot really nice with the Carbon Express uh, tip, broadhead, arrow streak 20 inch blue streak okay practice a little bit more and get ready for the hunt Matero's Pub and Pizza is located on Highway 66 in Polonia Wisconsin come join us on December 15, 1791, the Supreme Court introduced the Second Amendment into the Bill of Rights in America. A well-regulated militia, being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Proudly display your support of the right to bear arms with this one-of-a-kind Second Amendment eagle print for only $79.95 plus shipping and handling. Find them online at woodmatframes.com. Hi, welcome to Frank's Hardware in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Proudly family owned and operated since the 1940s. Conveniently located on Highway 10, Frank's Hardware has all your general hardware needs and we specialize in a wide variety of products. Meaning all of your paint, lawn and garden, plumbing, electrical, and many more of those household needs. Not only do we have a new one, but we can show you how to fix what you already have. Did you know Frank's Hardware also offers a wide variety of services? So stop on down to Frank's Hardware today. We don't just have great products, but we have great service. Bucks and Bulls Archery is Central Wisconsin's favorite archery supply and pro shop. Located at 3272 Church Street in Stevens Point, they have an indoor range, video archery room, and fully stocked pro shop. Professional equipment repair and NFAA certified archery instruction also available. Get in now for a single or group lesson. Hi, I'm Gary, owner of Bucks and Bulls. Stop in and see us soon. Optimizer by HHA Sports. The Optimizer Light Ultra, voted number one single pin adjustable sight for 10 years running. The Optimizer Speed Dial for crossbows, to the yard accuracy with a single reticle. And the Optimizer Horizon, offering unmatched accuracy from both short and long range firearms. All Optimizer sight systems utilize range dial shoot technology. Ask for Optimizer at a dealer near you.
Just seven miles east of Stevens Point, Matero's Pub and Pizza. It's worth the drive. This mineral is a game changer. I put the odds in my favor. It's time to close the deal. I wouldn't change a thing. Finally, the buck of a lifetime. Real Deal Mineral, the results speak for themselves. I'm over here in Gillette, Wyoming on a Carbon Express crossbow antelope hunt and I'm going to sit in the morning with the Carbon Express rep, um, John Volkman. Well, we just got done doing is shooting our broadheads with our lighted knocks and our Carbon Express arrows. And I had two arrows with one broadhead and one with a different broadhead and they impacted at the target about six, eight inches different. So I went with the two that grouped together and I sighted them in after the flight on the airplane we Everybody recited their crossbows. There's eight of us here, um, mostly all store owners around central Wisconsin. Anyway, we're all sighted in. We're ready to go tomorrow morning. There, this is our camp right here, and then you can see what it looks like behind me. We're glassing out there. There's antelope all over the place. A couple nice bucks. Um, now we're going to eat something and take her easy this evening and go out in the morning and hunt. And like I say, we're all sighted in. We had a target here at 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Some of the guys shot 60. I only went up to 50. Um, and we'll see what happens in the morning. Wyoming, Gillette, Wyoming. It's my first morning in my blind here. Kind of just got set up driving in. We've seen five or six antelope that were shooters. They call them bucks. Um, I didn't know it was a buck and a doe antelope. And we've seen lots of mule deer. Three bucks, two, one really big one. Really nice, comfortable blinds, insulated boxes. Cool in here, it's hot outside. Nice, comfortable chair, cooler full of snacks. I got my Carbon Express crossbow. It's all cocked and loaded. Outside this window here, there's a water hole. It's only 22 yards. He said they come to drink there. Been here for eight hours. Glassing, looking, took a little nap. Um, all I seen was uh, ten mule deer and an antelope that I did see were so far away. Couldn't really tell what they were. And they come to these watering holes when they get thirsty when it's hot outside and now it's raining, so that can't be good. The thunderstorm going over right now and rain. Anyway, you're supposed to come pick me up in two hours, two and a half hours. We'll see. Maybe if they come early, if it rains, I don't know. Otherwise, I'll just sit and wait. Maybe we'll get one yet.
Get your photos on an upcoming episode during our fan photo segment presented by Barbershop, your vacuum and sewing machine headquarters, where you buy with confidence. Simply send us your photos with a brief description to Weekly Outdoor Plus at live.com or find us on Facebook. Then watch for yourself in every week's new fan photo segment. Now let's see who sent us their photos this week. Our first picture this week is of a beautiful Wisconsin sunrise just before water skiing. Next we have some bacon wrapped venison with blue cheese crumbles. This one comes from Austin Stankowski with this fat northern he caught up in Canada. And here's one from Bob and Andy trying to make their walleye look big. And next we have Cade who found himself a big walleye. And here's an awesome shot of the sunset along the Wisconsin River. And this one comes from Drake out fishing with his dad. And here's a big gar he caught that day. Thank you to all of this week's entries in our fan photo segment presented by Barbershop. Don't miss out on your chance to be part of the show by sending in your photos to Weekly Outdoor Plus at live.com or find us on Facebook. Now back to the show. Did you guys know that you can test the straightness of your arrow without any extra tools? If you guys missed any of my other lessons and tips, feel free to check them out on the Hints Media YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, welcome to this week's lesson segment on Weekly Outdoor Plus. Jace Hints here with you again as always. And uh, this week we're going to go over basically the importance of your sling, why people use them, and uh, a little recap over the grip so you can understand the exact science behind why you do have this on here. Um, the idea is when you're shooting your bow, obviously, you don't want to squeeze your grip. You want to make sure you have it like we talked a lot before on this side of your lifeline. You have it on the palm of your hand. And again, you're just relaxing your fingers, not having them squeeze your bow. You're not torquing your bow in any direction because that's like one of the biggest flaws you can have by far is how you squeeze your bow, how you can torque it with your different finger pressures. And again, when you anticipate your shot like a lot of people do, you're going to grab your bow and everything where if you're doing these kind of things, it's obviously not good. And having a sling is like a backup plan. So you don't worry about holding on to your bow. You can let it just naturally let the force hold it against your palm and when it's doing this you'll have your sling on which is reminding you that hey I'm not going to drop it because even if I do let go of it I still got my sling on and I'll be able to catch it I'm not going to have to worry about it falling out of my tree stand or dropping it on the concrete or wherever I'm shooting so uh, again when you get a sling one big key to it is you don't want to have it really tight because again you're going to start throwing more torque into it you can see there's a nice little little bit of loop on here you'd want it just to lay on there you don't want it to be tight and holding up against you because again like I said you're gonna have more bottom torque on it then you're gonna be pulling harder and you're gonna be pulling down on your bowl because it's obviously located below your hand so again get your good grip like we talked about several weeks now um, get your sling on make sure that you have it nice and loose I mean you don't have to go out there and buy a $900 sling you know you can just get a nice simple I mean we have a lot of homemade ones here really cool um, we got a lot of different string different ideas where this one's here simple to adjust a little allen wrench you slide it in and out tighten it down a little set screw very simple so these are the things you know you can transfer from bow to bow if you need to it's not a big deal but make sure you have one on there so you have it's just a mental idea knowing when i shoot i'm not gonna be dropping my bow and again it is a safety feature it's like putting a seat belt on in your car so you're not gonna end up getting hurting your bow basically is what it would come down to so think about it if you don't have one i definitely recommend trying one or you know come on try it out on your bow see if you actually do like it and uh, again make sure you got that perfect grip we talked about and this will definitely help you more mentally sound and not be worried about it so um, if you guys got any questions call bucks and bulls you can check this back out on youtube otherwise uh hopefully i'll see you guys next week Next time you go out, make it memorable at Matero's Pub and Pizza. Bucks and Bulls Archery is Central Wisconsin's favorite archery supply and pro shop. Located at 3272 Church Street in Stevens Point, they have an indoor range, video archery room, and fully stocked pro shop. 
professional equipment repair, and NFAA certified archery instruction also available. Get in now for a single or group lesson. Hi, I'm Gary, owner of Bucks and Bulls. Stop in and see us soon. Real Deal Mineral, the results speak for themselves. Optimizer by HHA Sports. The Optimizer Light Ultra, voted number one single pin adjustable sight for 10 years running. The Optimizer Speed Dial for crossbows, to the yard accuracy with a single reticle. And the Optimizer Horizon, offering unmatched accuracy from both short and long range firearms. All Optimizer sight systems utilize range dial shoot technology. Ask for Optimizer at a dealer near you. Do you guys know that you can test the straightness of your arrow without any extra tools? If you guys missed any of my other lessons and tips, feel free to check them out on the Hints Media YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Woodmat frames are fully customizable handcrafted wood frames. Choose your style of frame, then customize the white maple, cherry, or alderwood mattings with any logo, image, or text. Each and every frame is handmade in central Wisconsin by Master Woodworks, whose creativity and precision led to the creation of these great new frames. Whether you're looking for a single frame or something for the whole group, woodmatframes.com is the place to go. Check us out online or email sales at woodmatframes.com for pricing and ordering information. So when you're ready to put another memory on the wall, come to woodmatframes.com and make it extra special. Day three of my antelope hunt. I haven't got a shot yet. The water holds 25 yards. Just got here a little bit ago. I got my shooting stick set up for the right height. Got the crossbow ready. Cock devoted. Then I just looked out back, there was an antelope coming. It was a buck, probably a shooter laid down just a little bit ago, so I'm gonna keep an eye on it if it gets up.
possible. I'm not kidding you. He went past this window here. I don't know if you've seen him on film, I'll have to check, but he was so close. He was like three feet, four feet. It was so quick, I couldn't get a shot, so I switched over to the other window. I shot him at about maybe five yards. I think I hit him in a heart or just above it. And they made a big circle on the field. I see him laying out there. I shot him out of that ground blind back there. I hope you can see it. He made a big circle around. He came right here and died. But as fast as he could, I don't know, a couple hundred yards maybe in a circle, dropped dead August 29th. Um, I have to thank Carbon Express. They paid for my trip, brought me here. Set me up with a bunch of equipment. Awesome hunt. A lot of fun. I'd really like to come back with a few people. Well, Gary, the weather finally got good. You got your antelope. Yeah, thanks a lot, John. This is John Volkman, my Carbon Express rep, and he was good enough to invite me on this hunt. And uh, it started out kind of rainy, but it got hot and sunny and came to the water hole and I shot him. So, yeah, you made a good shot. He didn't make it very far and it worked out good. The Carbon Express crossbow. He was coming to the water hole. I shot him at like five yards. And uh, again, I'd like to thank you, John. Yeah, thanks it was for coming. a lot of fun. Good people, good food. Really good group. Everybody had fun. Plenty of antelope. We got two antelope in the last hour. So nice. today's going good. We'll probably fill in today. I hope so. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Weekly Outdoor Plus presented by Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Don't forget to check us out online at facebook.com slash weeklyoutdoorplus. See you next week.